Good morning, guys. Excuse my trim. Uh, I know it's despicable, but I am about to shower, so leave it out. What a wonderful day to be alive. The sun is shining. It's nice and warm outside. This is my breakfast. Peanut butter and jam on toast. Banana and honey on toast. And then I'm having some sausages on the side, as always, for the extra protein. Because there is not enough protein in peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter. Good protein sauce. And I'm going to drink all of this water. I'll have some vitamins as well. This is also my pre-workout meal. So it's not just my breakfast. It's my pre-workout meal. That's why it's nice and carby and loads of water. Food has been completely devoured. My hair has been completely washed. Today, me and Dave are going to a new gym. Technically, it's not a new gym for me. I've been there before. I went there with my friend a couple weeks ago. But it's a new gym for you guys on my channel, and it's a new gym for Dave. He's never been there before. It's quite popular around the area for like bodybuilders. Apparently, all the equipment's like real good. I know there's a hip thrust machine in there that I really, really like, so I'm gonna use that today, because today, I'm hitting legs. Speaking of hitting legs, this is the fit. Today was actually supposed to be a rest day. I've just trained for the past three days in a row and I was supposed to rest today and I miscalculated my days and me and Dave arranged to go on this day today to this new gym. We needed to go on a day where I was hitting legs and he was hitting pull. So today was that day, but I miscalculated my days. But I deadlifted yesterday, so my lower back is a little bit under recovered, but that is okay. I'm just gonna train anyways and I'll either take a rest day tomorrow or after the next three days of training. Right, I'm gonna try to dry my hair as much as possible because I hate training with wet hair. It's a horrible feeling. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, I've completely changed my outfit because I felt horribly in the other one and I feel much better in this one. We're kind of running late, but Dave's still shaving and we're gonna take pre-workout in the car. Hello, peeps and pupettes. How are we doing today? Uh, I tried to record taking pre-workout in the car and I, it was going everywhere. The camera wasn't holding. I don't even have a camera. It's on my phone. Nothing was going right. So I just, I was like, okay, straight into the session, guys. So I started off with a hack squat as, you know, I've been hack squatting recently for my leg days. All I do is like hack squat and hip thrusts. That's all I do. I spend like two hours doing it as well. So I do like a million sets. Um, so this one was a bit different to mine and I did 40 kilos and I put 40 kilos on and do you know what? I got a measly three reps. Uh, but it's okay. I uh, didn't really want to get any more anyways because I know it's a bit odd, but I am I'm following my program, which I usually do barbell squats on with a hack squat. So it's a bit of a mix. It's a bit like usually you don't do like a set of one or a set of three and a hack squat, but I'm just testing out, see how it goes. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna make progress either way. So anyways, I had like four back off sets. Um, I did, usually I do three. Uh, but I did four and I put, what did I have? I had 20 kilos and I think I did like three sets with 20 kilos or two sets with 20 kilos and then I added five kilos on. Um, that's not 20 kilos inside by the way, that's literally like a measly little one plate, one kilo plate. There we go, you can see, oh here I'm struggling. That's quite funny. Um, yeah, I added five kilos for the last two sets I think. So, um, and they were moving really well. Like the more I get into the sets, the better they move, which is pretty cool. Um, I like that. Also, also, all sorts of faces were coming out. I'm, I don't know if you're noticing here. Um, I also want to tell you guys, I got, a, I got a microphone. So I've bought a microphone see if, to see if it, like, it's gonna work on my phone. And I wanna just, I wanna speak to you guys in my sessions because I feel like I have so much to say, but I can't just yell at the camera like this. Sorry if you're wearing earphones, because that would have been loud. Uh, but yeah, no, I just, I feel like I can't just yell at the camera and I want to be able to like speak to you guys throughout my sessions and like tell you like how I'm feeling there and then. Like I feel like that's way more like raw because um, I was actually, oh my goodness, I literally, by the way, started my period on this day and um, these hip thrusts were killing me. Um, and I wanted to do barbell hip thrusts for at least like my top set to see if I could like hit some sort of PR but um, I didn't really want to set it all up and I didn't have my normal bench with me. So I just used this machine and I came to this gym because I wanted to use this machine. I was really excited about it. So uh, usually, what do I have on here? I literally just have 80 kilos. I don't know how much the machine weighs. I don't think it's that much. I think it's like 20 kilos. So say this is like 100, like 90 or 100 kilos. I don't really know. 
um but yeah i just did a bunch of sets and it was it was all feeling a bit off like basically fun fact something i've noticed anyways through experience is that when you're on your period you can't get pump like i don't know if this is just me personal experience also here doing a little drop set i took one plate off obviously it doesn't matter if there's more plates on one side than the other so i just took one plate off one side crack onto the drop set um and i just did as many as i could it was it was really it was agony but yeah anyways i was saying uh, i don't feel like i can get a pump as well like i did i did like four sets of hip thrust four or five sets and then into like this massive drop set and normally afterwards i would be like ah and like i would feel a pump like obviously i could feel my glutes and i was like whoa ow but i wasn't pumped it's something like it was it was odd it was very odd so and I, i've noticed this over like the past few months anyways i just like haven't taken much note of it before um but yeah i know so that's just something interesting so if you experience the same thing please tell me down in the comments because i remember, like i do like i'll do like a push day and normally i get like triceps chest shoulders pumped like to fuck but yeah, no, I don't when I'm on my period. So I think it's just, your body's focusing on something else, right? It's like if you go to the gym with like a full stomach, you won't be able to get pump because your body is way too busy, like pumping blood to your digestive system. And the same goes with everything. Like if you have like an injury, if you're anxious when you have anxiety, it pumps blood somewhere else. So uh, to like your heart, your organs, right? Because you're anxious and you're in fight or flight. So anyways, just a little rant, something interesting um, that I noticed. Because when I'm anxious, again, I can't get a pump, same thing. So yeah, I was gonna do leg extensions and hamstring curls, but I was feeling really rough at this point. So I decided to call it a day and I just waited around for Dave to finish. So yeah, are you recording? Uh, we literally just had the sickest session. Did you like it? Did yeah, it was it? great. Yeah, it was great. Good gym. Anyways, we were gonna go to Nando's and then we were driving back home and we've just found a harvester and we've never been to a harvester. I've never been. Any... Yeah, we've Have you ever been? We've been to a beef eater, which is like a similar thing. I'm pretty sure it's like pub food. So we've never been to one together. So we're gonna do it and we'll see what it's like. After the harvester, me and Dave went home. We were chilling for a little bit and then we were like, it's time to go grocery shopping, get in the lift and the lift stopped stops. and we got stuck in the lift. Yeah. How long, what, like half an hour? Probably half an hour. We were on and off of the phone with the emergency people and they wouldn't tell us when the engineer was going to get here. Anyways, then Dave starts to get impatient. He was like banging on the walls. And then he just like grabs the doors and like pries them open completely. Look, we're out. Look how close we were to like actually the lift opening yeah. itself. So we got a lift. Yeah. So you can open fucking metal doors in emergency. That's why you would have a strong boyfriend. Like, like your to dad always doors. told you. Let's go grocery shopping. We were trying to leave the house by 10 o'clock so we could get Lidl. So we could get some yogurt and iced tea from Lidl. Well, obviously, yeah. it's- Ain't gonna happen. Yeah, ain't gonna happen. It's past 10 now, so we can't do that. So off to Tesco's, we go. I feel like we just had the least productive grocery shop ever. Usually we have like four bags and it's all full of like amazing good foods. We got some pastries like who the fuck gets pastries they've got loads of like snacks we did get loads of meat to be fair we ventured into the cereal aisle and we really had a look at some cereal we bought some new cereal and we bought loads of these these are by far the best yogurt protein puddings ever i love these 